In the deep shadowed valleys of Appalachia, the mist clings to ancient pines, and the wind carries whispers of forgotten times. These woods are older than the memory of man, hiding secrets beneath their verdant cloak. Among these secrets is a chilling legend, that of the Wampus Cat, a creature born from darkness and human tragedy, a spectral being part woman, part cougar, forever cursed to roam these woods. Cherokee lore speaks of a brave woman who, armed with the magic of her people, sought to spy on the male warriors of her tribe as they gathered around their sacred fire, a place forbidden to women. She cloaked herself in the skin of a mountain lion, melding shadow and form. But as she crept closer to the flames, the magic turned against her. The elders discovered her and cursed her to live as neither human nor beast, but as the Wampus Cat, a guardian of the wilderness, tormentor to those who dare its depths. Julia and her friends, drawn by tales of the supernatural and the allure of the untamed wilderness, decide to venture into the heart of Appalachia. The group, including her brother Micah, his best friend Dan, and her college roommate Sarah, are equipped with camping gear and a thrill for adventure, oblivious to the true dangers of the ancient forest. As they trek deeper into the forest, the light dims, the air cools, and a silent tension settles around them. They laugh and share stories of ghostly encounters from other trips, mocking the very idea of the wampus cat. However, as night falls and the campfire flickers, unsettling sounds pierce the serenity of the woods, the unsettling cry of a creature that is both human and animal. The night grows dense, a fog rolls in, masking the moonlight. The sounds grow closer, more personal. Whispered warnings in a language forgotten by time seem to float between the trees. Mike sees shadows flit between the trunks, too large and moving too purposefully to be any normal woodland creature. Panic grips the group as they realize they are being hunted. The wampus cat toys with them, her cries echoing their deepest fears. Around the dying fire, Sarah reveals her deeper knowledge of the wampus cat. Her grandmother, part Cherokee, had passed down a ritual to appease the wampus cat. It involves offering a symbol of respect and acknowledging the pain and transformation of the cursed creature. The group scrambles to assemble an offering, hoping to calm the vengeful spirit. As the creature approaches, its eyes glowing with otherworldly light, the air thick with the scent of musk and rage, they present their offering. The wampus cat, drawn by the sincerity of their ritual, hesitates. Its cries soften, morphing from screams into a low, mournful wail. The ground beneath their feet trembles as it decides their fate. Dawn breaks over the forest, revealing the scattered remnants of the night's horrors. Only Julia, Mike, and Sarah emerge from the woods, forever changed. They leave behind not only the wilderness, but also a piece of their innocence. The legend of the Wampus Cat is no longer a piece of their innocence. The legend of the Wampus Cat is no longer just a tale to scare children. It is a profound reminder of the wild and mystical forces that dwell in the Appalachian wilderness. As they look back one last time, the forest seems unchanged, yet they leave behind the echoes of a night where legend and reality collided. The wampus cat, now silent, watches from the shadows, a guardian of its secrets and protector of its lore. Their survival serves as a testament to respect and understanding of the ancient spirits embedded in these mountains. As they drive away, the mist once again covers the tracks of their ordeal, and the forest reclaims its calm, waiting for the next unwary souls to venture too deep. With a newfound respect for the legends of the land, Julia and her friends carry forward a story that will be whispered in awe and fear adding another layer to the rich tapestry of Appalachian folklore. They know now that some myths are rooted in truths far darker and deeper than the soil they spring from.